was the night before Sithmas, the cross Cato Nemoia. Not a clanker was stirring, not even a droidica. The speeders were parked by the platform with care, in hopes that Count Dooku soon would be there. The battle droids were nestled all snug in their carriers, dreaming of being fitted with portable shield barriers. Newt Gunray in crimson, Brun Harko in blacks, had just settled down to rest their backs. When out on the landing pad arose such a clatter, they sprang from their seats to see what was the matter. Away to the window they flew in a rush, and up went the shutter plate with a mere button push. The moons on the armor of the transports below gave a beautiful but eerie, chilling glow. When out of the night sky what did swoop but the distinctive image of a solar sloop with a tall, slender driver controlling the mount. They knew in an instant it must be the Count. Retros firing to control the descent. Still, by like a flash, the transport went. The tiny ship's engines made a gurgling sound that nonetheless deafened and shuddered the ground. To the top of the platform and then to a stall, plummeting down in a gradual fall. As a boulder of iron which lands with a thump, when on to solid ground its weight it does slump. So down the craft came, extending its gear, signaling that the Sith Lord now was here. And then, in an instant, they heard a loud clang, as from the ship's rear the landing ramp sprang. As they lowered the shutter and were turning around, in through the door came Count Dooku with a bound. He wore black and brown from his neck to his boot. A wide flowing cape from his shoulders did shoot. A shiny curved hilt he had hung on his belt, at the mere sight of which fear they felt. His eyes, how they twinkled, piercing yet calm. His countenance tempered with a dangerous charm. His mouth drawn up in a sinister grin, surrounded by the grey of the beard on his chin. His hands were wrinkled and knurled with age, or with continual use of his electric rage. He had a thin face, was slender and slight, but gave off an aura that bristled with might. This tall, strident figure, the Sith Lord of Tyranny, they cowered when they saw him, in spite of their villainy. A smile on his face and a nod of his head soon gave them to know they had nothing to dread. He crossed to a desk and searched within, retrieved what he needed, then turned with a spin shooting a scowl that filled them with fear, and giving a nod, out of the door he did disappear. He sprang to his ship as his droid gave a whistle, and away it flew like a mighty copper missile. But they heard on the comlink as he raced out of sight, Happy Sithmas to all, and to all a good night.